Godzilla or other Godzilla sized creatures ever exist in real life? Short answer, no. Long answer, beings as large as skyscrapers like Godzilla would face insurmountable challenges to survive, let alone exist. You need to first understand the concept of the square cube law, which is relatively simple to grasp. Let's consider a cube with one side measuring one centimeter. In this case, the cross-sectional area of the cube would be one square centimeter and its volume would be one cubic centimeter. Now, if you scale up the sides of the cube by two, the new sides would be two centimeter long. However, the cross-sectional area would not just double, it would become four square centimeters, which is proportional to the square of its size increase. Similarly, the volume would not just double either. It would become 8 cubic centimeter, which is proportional to the cube of its size increase. In summary, the cross-sectional area and the surface area of an object changes proportionally to the square of its size, while the volume of an object changes proportionally to the cube of its size. The volume of an object scales up faster than its cross-sectional area and its surface area. But how is that related to our discussion? In living organisms, the cross-sectional area of their body is closely related to their strength, while their volume determines their mass. This relationship has significant implications, particularly when creatures increase in size. As a living being grows larger, its volume increases at a faster rate than its cross-sectional area, resulting in a disproportional increase in mass compared to strength. If you suddenly became 10 times taller, you would be 100 times stronger, but you would also be 1,000 times heavier. This can lead to structural limitations, where the organism's body struggles to support its own weight. In the case of giant creatures, their sheer mass becomes a burden, and their physical structures may not be strong enough to withstand the forces acting upon them. Consequently, these giant beings may face collapse due to the overwhelming pressure exerted by their own mass and gravity. It is generally accepted that for land-dwelling vertebrate animals, the limit is around 30 meters or approximately 100 feet. Compare that to Godzilla's latest incarnation, which is around 120 meters tall or 395 feet. Our humongous friend might be slightly more plausible if it lived entirely underwater, but once it walked on shore, it would die. Also, these gigantic beings would have a huge problem with dissipating heat. The volume of an object increases in a faster rate than its surface area. As organisms increase in size, their ability to generate heat, which is determined by volume, outpaces their ability to lose it, which is determined by its surface area. This results in a lower surface area to volume ratio as size increases, making large creatures like Godzilla more vulnerable to overheating. In reality, such colossal organisms would struggle to regulate their body temperature efficiently, limiting their chances of survival. Yet, despite all those reasons we talk about, Godzilla is hands down one of the most awesome characters ever in movie history.